hi guys i hope you are doing very fine today i am happy to be here to take us to the next discussion that we've been having if you are new here my name is joseph and i am a microsoft most valuable professional and we have been working on sharepoint together so now we want to go to the next phase of our um, site creation we had created the um, team site and now we want to create communication site so i will just do cmd.ms again and then what am i going to do i'm just going straight to the sharepoint admin center so i will just scroll down and then pick sharepoint here and then i would also like to open teams.microsoft.com here just so we can also compare this uh, relating to what we had done earlier in the previous video so the SharePoint site is just about opening and the team site seems is also trying to open. So we are here in a bit, yeah. So now we come to active site and um, if you remember in the if you watched the previous video we created a site and then we called it SharePoint um, we call it SharePoint playlist which is here, right? So this site, remember that we had it replicate for us in Teams, right? So when we check our Teams here, we would see that we have team site, the, the, the team here replicating from SharePoint end, correct? Okay, so having said that, uh, looking at the um, SharePoint playlist here showing and then showing up here in SharePoint, you know, showing up here in SharePoint means it is a team site and that teams is enabled for it so this is just me trying to do a summary of the previous video while everything was loading so now we want to click on create site and this time we want to create a communication site as against the uh, team site that we created in the previ previous video so communication site site information that engages a broad audience creates a portal or subject focus site engage dozens or thousands of viewers view content authors and many site visitors few content authors and many site visitors so looking at this one thing i must let you know that it is an intranet not an not a website for people outside to browse right is to communicate information within your organization just so when people resume they want to read about their company they can have place to go find out information so that when there is an announcement of people joining or something about celebrating something within the organization everybody can go to a particular site and you know read that information so it is the office or the company's intranet why this is for collaboration purpose so i'm just going to hit on create and then again it's going to give us um templates right so again i think you remember that we had crisis management if you watched the previous video we had crisis management um, uh you know um template we had i'm not sure we had we had standard for teams but this is standard communications then we have brand central we have crisis management we have department we have event we have human resources and you see all the templates here that you may want to pick from just so you can have something to start with just as the name implies template right so in the previous one we had completed the use of the standard template right we use the standard teams template so for this particular video i just want us to use another template different from what was you know um suggested to us okay so now i want to pick um, let's just say we pick this human resource um something here human resources template here so we can pick it and then what happened is um we can look at the template if it suits us from what we are looking for if we want it to look like this we can say okay it's fine we can say use template so if we say use template it will ask us to it will ask us to give a name sharepoint playlist um and i'm going to say communications or communication sites so just just to see so i think i just need to change this to small letter and then that's fine so it will just pick the site here for me the site address if i want to if i want to um 
if I want to change this, I mean, if I want to reduce the URL, I can do that from here, right? But um, I think it's fine to be like this. Okay, so um, who is the site owner? Just the same thing that we did in the previous one. So I can also just bring myself up as the site owner and then I just put myself here. And then next, what happens is that then again, language, like I mentioned in the previous video or as it is right now, you can also see that it is saying select the default site language for your site. You can't change this later. So you have to be aware that you cannot change your you cannot change your site language when you have created the site so you have to be aware of that even though you can change the time zone when it, what, what, to whatever time zone that works for you you know but you can't change the the language of the site when it is already created so what do you do next you just click on create and then you fold your hands and wait for this to apply the template that you have created and then gives you access you know to uh, a URL that you can click on to access the site and try to do the modifications that you would want to do to the site so now it is applying the template so the template has been applied and the site has been created so this is the site here showing sharepoint playlist communication right so what will happen is if you click on top of it <coughs> excuse me you have a url here saying site address so if you click on this site address it's going to open the site that you just created with the templates that you just added right so everything will just be just the same way you had picked it up from the site templates and then you will see interview how to find the right feed for your team so this is just going to be showing exactly as the site has you know the template was suggested to you now it depends on you to now start branding this site with the images that speaks to you directly if you do have some and then the content of the site also if you want to you know uh, make changes to them the color everything so in the subsequent video i'm going to show you how to you know uh, edit the site and put contents that you want to put and remove the ones that you don't need so that is the most important thing that i want you to look at now another point is that you see this announcement here in the previous video you would see that there was an option to you know add a team to this site and because of that the team was by itself available or visible from um, from the team's client so right now there is no option to do that so if you come back to the active site here and you look at something here you would see that the one that was a team site and a team is added you know it will have the icon for teams right but for the one that is a communication site it does not have this icon but mind you just before we round off this call there are you can create a team site if you don't associate a teams to it it will still not show the team status but if you add it to it you're going to see it so <clears throat> it is not right to say or it is not absolutely correct to say all the sites that you don't have teams icon showing up here are not team sites because there are some team sites if you've not added teams to them you will still not see this even though they are team site however all communication sites are not going to have team status i hope this is clear if you have questions about what i just said or what i have been saying you are free to drop the question in the comment section and i am more than happy to provide answers to them so thank you very much just stay tuned we are going to move on to the next item on sharepoint have a great day peace